Hey, y'all. Um, on the video that's uploading right now <clears throat> from yesterday's vlog, I forgot to insert the picture of the deer. I didn't think it was visually appropriate. Um, but it's dead in the doughnut. But uh, he just fell asleep for his morning nap. Today's Wednesday, weigh in day 261. It is what it is. I'm not going to stress about it. I've Tired. had a rough. <laughs> A rough week but that's where we're at we're gonna correct it next wednesday it'll be less guaranteed yeah um i'm supposed to go grocery shopping today but uh it's kind of out of the question unless we walk to the local grocery store i wanted to go to sam's to do the grocery haul like i mentioned in yesterday's vlog which is still uploading so you're gonna get two for one um Anyway, about the accident, I was coming back from Cold Springs, and uh, the exit that I normally take, I decided not to take it because I was going to go to a meat market um, on my route back, which is on the same street where this store is, and um, see if they had any, you know, chicharro or something like that that I could possibly have grabbed to have something to eat last night, but... Um, Sorry, watching Breaking Dawn Part 1. But that obviously was not the case because uh, I didn't see them till last minute. It was three and I ended up hitting one. Um, the airbags did not deploy, but my radiator, as you can see in the, in the, the whole front end, is like shot to shit. Um, so I put a claim in with Geico called the non-emergency number. Um, the fire department came out just to make sure it wasn't leaking any fluids, um, which the whole entire radiator was busted, so all that fluid leaked out and everything. And then the local police department um, gave me a, a number. They didn't do a, have to do a police report or anything. They just gave me um, some type of number. I can't even remember what it was, but I submitted all that to insurance now. Here's the, my dilemma. Um, I don't have rental coverage on my car. So in order for me to add that, I have to pay an additional $32. So I won't have that on Friday being at the car pay, The car insurance payment is due on Friday, so I'll add it afterwards. But until I get any money together, um, no rental. So... I also called last night um, my agency job and told them about it and they're making arrangements to pick me up to go to work tomorrow. Um, they gave me the day off today. It was actually supposed to be two days, but they asked me if I wanted to come in tomorrow for an eight hour shift instead of a four hour shift. So I said, sure. Well, they'll pick me up tomorrow morning and that way I can go ahead and not miss any work from them, but I'll be missing work from Domino's because being that I am a driver and I cannot drive. Um, things tend to happen when there's no money in the house. Paid fifteen hundred dollars to get Mocha fixed. Paid thirteen hundred dollars on rent on Monday. I'm broke. I am broke, broke until Friday when my husband gets paid and we have to pay the car insurance and the car payment. All that jazz. So, um. They're not able to come tow the vehicle today, so they're going to come pick it up tomorrow. So I'm going to have to leave the keys in the car for them to be able to um, pick her up tomorrow. Um, <laughs> being that he's sleeping right now, my husband's at work. He has a co-worker picking him up. But um, I was going to put him in his car seat because I have to take out the car seat, take out the stroller, take some important documents out of the car for when they come tow her tomorrow. Now, um, like I said, I wanted to go walk down to the local grocery store tomorrow, or today, and um, see what groceries that I can possibly bring back in his stroller since I have no way and I don't have um, Walmart delivery. 
but when it comes to meats and stuff like that, I like to look at what I'm getting, so there's that part. Anyway, this morning I woke up um, and I made a cup of coffee, but this time instead of it just being bulletproof coffee with the butter, it was like an egg latte. So I had a cup of coffee, one raw egg, and a tablespoon of butter, and a little bit more of the Tarani sugar-free syrup. I used my immersion blender and I had that. When I was at the Dollar Tree the other day, I also bought a package of the Banquet brand uh, turkey sausages. So I cooked that up this morning. He had maybe two sausages and I had the rest. I think there was like eight sausages in there. And um, if I'm not mistaken, this is my first bottle of water. Um, I'm primarily gonna be drinking a lot of fluids today. Um, and seeing how it goes. But uh, yeah, besides his birthday, this dream job, um, moving into an apartment that's way bigger than the last one, even though it's like a hundred dollars more. 2023 can still fit like <laughs> from January to February and it's it's, it's like I'm over Febu I'm over 2023 I'm, I'm, I'm over it you know I give you know praises to to, to to our Lord you know for waking us up every day so that we can face the new day and you know I can accept these trials and tribulations and turmoils and everything but I need some breathing room, you know, from moving out, living in a hotel to, you know, the U-Haul situation, you know, hitting the wall and, 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 and now this, I'm, I'm suffocating, <laughs> I'm, I'm literally suffocating, but I'm grateful that my job is willing to work with me. I don't know about Domino's because if I go at work and in, as an insider instead of a driver, I'm not making any money at all. I mean, I'm making money, but it's nowhere near as much as I would have, you know, driving. But, um, so I will come back when I have something to eat. But as of right now, there's nothing. I mean, I have food to eat, but there's nothing for me besides watching, you know, a movie and letting him sleep. Alright, y'all. We got a Bam Bam. Right, Bam Bam? I have a Bam Bam over here with me. Pebbles is on the couch. Pretty girl's on the floor. And we're chilling today. Happy hump day. Okay. Um, almost 2 o'clock, I believe. Still haven't gone to the grocery store yet. I'll probably wait for my husband to come. That way he can pick what he wants as well. Even though I know what he wants, but if I have to bring extra bags, I won't fit in the stroller. That part. Anyways, um, I'm not talking to you right now. I'm, I'm, I'm you, you got me going crazy. <coughs> We're not going to talk about that. Um, I'm having a, a turkey burger that I cut up with the Primal Kitchen uh, unsweetened organic ketchup. Um... I had um, my last Dr. Pepper Zero um, strawberries and cream whatever uh, drink. My husband's been helping me to those. I probably have like maybe three out of the 12 pack. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to eat this go to the grocery store figure out what we're gonna have for dinner but now that I can actually go to the grocery store and you know I might not be able to go to the grocery stores that I would like to but um I can definitely get my proteins and and you know at least grab some burger patties some ground meat um pork chops chicken things like that so the burger patties will be for quick and easy meals and you know things that I can give um the baby as well. Um 
you know, shrimp, salmon, things like that. So I have butter. I'll need cream for my coffees. I mean, I can always have bulletproof coffee, but still. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not a Sam's Club haul like I wanted it, but it'll do. And um, the video is still loading and editing, so it'll post when it's ready. But. Just munching on my turkey burger with an audience. Ain't that right, pretty girl in pebbles? With pit bulls, you're never alone. Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm outside. Yay! I'm not in the car. <laughs> um, I'm walking to my local grocery store near me. I've never heard of it before, but we have shopped there for a few things. It's called Sack and Save. It's like a um, big ass save a lot if you have a save a lot in your area. But got my munchkin with me, so. We are going to the grocery store to see what meats I can find and um, what I can possibly um, put on the bottom of that, of his stroller, since no vehicle. Um, so I'll probably be doing just meats today and whatever else I can possibly get, you know, if I have to walk to the store again tomorrow afternoon or whatever. but. Hey, at least I'm getting some type of cardio, physical activity going on, but I'll see you when I get to the grocery store. Guys, so we're on our way home, and when I mean where, my husband got dropped off at the grocery store um, to help me with pushing the cart back to the house. I managed to spend 270 something dollars of which 33 was cash and the rest were our benefits but um you look like a vampire <laughs> let me show you what you're looking like so that's our stroller full of food I have the diaper bag on my um, my back since it's like a backpack and it folds out to a changing table also. But um, I got him some, um, some things for breakfast because we had a little um, session this morning with trying to give him lunch. I tried to spoon feed him, he refused. He had a total meltdown, like snot and drool meltdown. So I got him some of those pull apart Eggo waffles, the French toast sticks and also the waffles. I got him some Vienna sausages, some little um, little smokies, um, you know, things that he can, you know, wean himself with. I also got him a plate and my husband something to drink, an alcoholic beverage that he saw that he wanted to try. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> the majority of it is all meats. Only a few, you know, um, cabinetry items, but they're all, it's all meat. So that's all we can pick up to be able to carry with the space that we have. Um, tomorrow's another day. So when I get to the house, I'll show you exactly what I purchased. Um, as far as meat, meat wise, but anyway, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'll let you guys go. This is just a quick view of everything that I picked up. So now to put it all. Hey away. guys, um, I decided to do a little bit of meal prep. So I have, I bought two packs of bacon, so I have the bacon in the oven, and there was like two slices left that didn't fit on the sheet pan. I'm just cooking those up in, uh, on the skillet. I also 
bought a can of Spam, so I cut it up. I'm gonna make Spam fries to have. I'm also heating up my husband's calzone that we made at work, as well as, um, let me flip the camera around. Okay, guys, um, after, well, anyway, um, that's the pan from the bacon, bacon in the oven. Here's the spam, spam fries and the bacon that, um, I had baked off in the uh, microwave, in the oven, oh my goodness, and, um, I did have a couple of pieces of that. But while that was cooking, what I have in here <coughs> is some uh, pork. Give me a second, I'm gonna get you some Vienna sausages, Papa. So, I just had it cooking in some uh, seasonings, which was just pretty much the Danos and um, the complete seasoning and garlic. That's it. I had it cooking for two hours and then I just had it natural released until now, which was about an hour. So it's literally just falling apart. This is just a roast pork that's boneless. So you can make carnitas with it, fry it up, um, put some barbecue sauce on it, barbecue pulled pork or whatever. But this is the other part of meal prep. Hey guys, um, while everything while everything was cooking, I did snack. Like, like I mentioned, I had um, a couple of pieces of bacon. But I also bought a container of guacamole and I was munching on bacon that I would dip into the guacamole and also I bought so, a bag of um, pork rinds, uh, really hard, like the crackling ones. So I bought a bag of that and I was dipping that in the guacamole. Um, I've had, I think this is like my third one. Yeah, my third one and I have one that I have yet opened. I'm gonna have a little later. It's a little bit flat right now, that's why the carbonation isn't bothering me. But before I do have that other one, I'm gonna have at least two Kirkwood bottles of water. And I did fry up some of the um, the pork meat till it got a little bit browned. And I stuck it in a Tupperware container. I'm gonna take that whole entire thing with me to work. So I packed up for him some grapes two Vienna sausages, and um, two mini pancakes, and in the other baggie, it has syrup in it. So at least he'll have that for um, meals for tomorrow because we're supposed to do eight hours. So um, I'm also gonna bring two bottles with me, just two, um, because he's gonna be snacking between, in between um, with those little snacks that I got for him. I'm trying to get him you know, to use his hands more, but I'm gonna take the pork with me. Um, I'm gonna have a cup of coffee in the morning. I have stevias and I have bottles of water. I just gotta remember to bring my um, water bottle with me. And all I'm taking is just his car seat. His stroller's gonna stay here. But um, that's it for today, guys. I will check in with you tomorrow. Let you know how my day goes by being picked up to go to work.